the one feature request that I made before Retro Games manufactured the C64 was to be able to hook this up to a computer. Now that we have a couple of them, let's go ahead and try and hook this keyboard up to a computer and see what happens. I'm Mr. Gigabytes, and this is Gigabytes Technology. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken a, uh, a, a C64 and I've just taken the bottom off and connected the keyboard part up to the up to a little adapter. It's an it's an internal USB mod, I guess you could say. It's uh, it uh, so you can mount a port onto into a case and connect it to the internal USB headers. And I just used a uh, a paper clip and stuck the stuck it in the uh, in the pins here and uh, and you know trimmed it to length, made the connection. Then I used a, uh, a USB A to A cable. I've got it plugged into this uh, this little computer here that's running Kubuntu 18. And we're going to see if this can type. So here goes. There we go. It's working. That's interesting. The pound sign is the uh, is a dash. The minus sign is a minus. So clear home. That's a home key. Let's use the see if the cursor does anything. Yeah, cursor is a uh, is a right arrow and delete is a delete or backspace actually. So con this control not sure what that does just yet, but it's not tab. So let's let's use return. Yep, return is return. Yep, all the letters the same. So that's the at sign is a backslash. The asterisk is a semicolon. Up arrow is a is an apostrophe, and restore is tab. Now run stop should be escape. So if we let me pull them, get the mouse out. If I do run stop, yeah, that's escape. Do return again. A S D F G H. So yeah, the brackets are the brackets, which is good. Equals is equal. The equal sign would normally be up here on a normal keyboard. Comma is comma. Period is period. That's forward slash. I'm guessing that the cursor up down. Yeah, is down. F1. Yeah, F1 is F1. So those F keys will work. I just, you probably don't have on a, when you're plugging it into a regular computer, it doesn't look like you probably have access to F2, F4, F6, and F8. There's no alt key. And the C64, yeah, that's, that is not control. So that's going to be a problem. Normally in Vice, you have a uh, control key down here. And that's what you use to get your symbols. And because this is like a Windows key, on a regular keyboard that's not going to work in vice unless maybe if you remap it uh, i'm sure there's some vice wizardry we can we can do with that so not a huge deal but um it would have been nice to have that as a control key shift lock let's see if we get capitals here yeah we get capitals so all in all it's a usable keyboard it's just things are are laid out a little bit differently. The left arrow here, which does not control the cursor, um, that's the an accent mark. So when I'm, let's do a shift plus. Yeah, so plus is, plus is still plus. Minus is still minus. Yeah, this, uh, the pound sign is an underscore when you hold the shift down. Let's take a look at some of these other things. So that this at sign, yeah, that's the, uh, break, mark, colon, because that was semicolon, yeah. So colon and colon and semicolon here for the asterisk. And quotes for the up arrow here. Honestly, if you get get used to the different layout, uh, it's just some of the keys are just repositioned a little bit. Yeah, the backslash is here instead of over here. I mean, you could get used to it. It's usable. 
uh, there's be definitely be certain advent uh, certain advantages to it. The question is is whether it'll whether it'll work in vice properly or not. You'd have to definitely do something about this key because of the way it, because this is uh, that's not a control key. Well, let me install vice on this and uh, we'll see if this is uh, we'll see how how well this is mapped out to vice. I'm here. Uh, I'm in vice. Uh, same computer. Uh, we're still in the same sort of uh, thing going on here. So let me just point this down real quick. So same thing going on. So I'm going to just go through the keyboard and we're going to see uh, what it is. So I'm going to start with the top row first. We're going to do the uh, the arrow key here. And of course that's the <laughs> that's the accent mark again. So this is very much turning out to be mapped to the keyboard but uh so yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine zero plus doesn't do anything minus doesn't do anything pound sign is dash clear home goes up there so arrow down cursor up and down is is down again and right uh the uh, cursor left right is right the shift for cursor up and down does work so let's see if we can change the color of this cursor here. So yeah, so all right, so one the exclamation mark quotes. So that was not that's not what I expected. That should have been a quote. Pound, dollar sign, you know, percent, ampersand. Okay, so that, again, that not what I expected. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. So we need to change let's try let's try changing this keyboard mapping type to uh positional mapping maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll get a different uh should get a different result this time and go back into full screen alt d okay so okay now we're getting the getting the, the so that's the left pointing arrow one two three four five six seven eight nine zero i expected that see now we, the plus still doesn't do anything minus still doesn't do anything that's the pound sign was the plus apparently. So yeah, so some remapping is going to be required. And uh, of course, enter is enter. So that was supposed to be black. That turned out kind of orange. That's white. So yeah, I'm not getting the. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's a problem. Let's try and there we go. At least we'll get white here. There's the blue again. So that was Control Seven. So let's just run through this. So uh, Control. That's black, white, red, cyan, purple, green, blue, yellow. So it looks like it's going through the it looks like it's going through the second set of the 16 colors. So let's do the shift of the top row here. It's still that same arrow. Exclamation mark, quotation, pound, dollar, percent, ampersand, apostrophe, bracket, ellipses. Zero is still zero. Plus and minus aren't doing anything. Now the shift uh, pound sign, I got that, got that symbol. So restore one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, plus, minus, pound. Yeah, didn't do it. That was interesting. Okay, spacebar, spacebar. So yeah, it looks like this keyboard's gonna need some remapping if you want to use it with Vice. Uh, the con the the CTRL key, the control key, is actually being used as a control key, uh, where the C64 key is. So it actually is working. So you are able to get some of these symbols here. Now, okay, so that was zero, or that's O, P, at symbol gives me an equal sign the star key gives me a bracket the up arrow gives me another bracket so if we do let's do the restore key q w e r t y t oh that's interesting that's a backspace u i o p at sign it's almost like the reverse is on or off but it's not turning it on permanently. Restore nine is R. Restore zero. It's 
Yeah, it, uh, basically the, the keyboard would have to be remapped so that the keys actually function as the keys. Um, that might be something I might have to tackle in the future. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to, we'll have to see what we can do on that. Uh, I'm sure there's, some, like I said, some magic we can do with Vice because Vice allows you to remap a keyboard to basically how you want it to function. So uh, I'm sure there's a keyboard map that we can create here. What we need to do, first of all, um, we need to change the, basically what's uh, the Commodore key or the C64 key. We need to change that to just a regular control key and we can do this through system settings. We can do this through system settings. We go to uh, keyboard and advanced and alt win key behavior and we select control is mapped to win and the usual control keys. So we change that. So now we're basically turning that win uh, that Windows key or in this case the Commodore key into a regular uh, control key. Then what we need to do because we're not disabling the menu function specifically we need to go into the application menu, application menu settings, and go to keyboard shortcuts and just change that to none. It was uh, at uh, control F1 before, and control F1 is, is, the, uh, is basically the Windows key. So in Vice, I'm using positional mapping and by default that gives the closest map that we have to the existing keyboard. I've been trying to do some custom mapping but it does not, uh, I haven't been able to get it to work successfully for all the keys and I'm gonna, I'll explain that in here in a minute. Okay, so there's one more challenge when it comes to remapping the C64 keyboard. And that is there are two keys on this keyboard, at least in Linux, that look identical to Vice. And it's making it very, very difficult to remap the keys to anything else, apart from the fact that I really haven't been able to remap the keys to a literally anything else. Um, the, the pound key and minus key to the computer actually look like the exact same key, the, which is odd because they're definitely not the same key. And I used a, uh, an online tool to check these two keys, and they do show up as different the scan codes show up differently but when I use the local scan tool to, to check the key they're both showing up as the exact same key not sure what that's all about the other the other problem is the minus and the plus key vice really doesn't even want to see them it doesn't doesn't believe they exist so I'm sure there's something I'm I'm sure there's something I'm doing wrong when it comes to remapping the keys and I'm going to keep plugging away at it. It would be nice to just be able to download a new key map for the C64 board and people have done it but people have done it for specifically for the C64 when they want to load for example if they're trying to to hack the system and load and load vice into the system they've created key maps for that but nobody's as far as I can tell, has created a key map for Vice on the computer. And that's part of what I want to be able to do, is I want to be able to use this keyboard in Vice on the computer. So I'm going to keep plugging away at it, and we'll see if I'm successful. But for now, I have to move on to the next project, 
which involves this very computer here. So, so that's it for now, and we'll see you in the next video. So that's it for now. Thank you.